Hi, I'm Dobby the Fixing Elf. Welcome to What's in My Toolbox, the series where I show you the tools I use to repair cars and fix things. And in today's instalment, we have this ball joint puller set. So I recently used this in a ball joint repair video you saw not too long ago. I've had them for quite a while now. They're very handy little tools. They have two different parts in this kit. You have this ball joint, and this one's mainly for tie rod ends. Quite a handy little thing. Has a 19mm fastener up here, and you just pop it on the tie rod, and then you just tighten it down and you pop the tie rod out. There will be a bit of demonstration footage of this one in action. And here's the ball joint puller, quite useful, it's got adjustable sizes. Also, it's reversible, sometimes you need a slightly different um, fitting for the um, ball joints. So, you can put it in that way round, or you can put it in that way round. It's normally the best way. Just avoid damaging your ball joint. And the trick is with these, make sure you lube everything up before you do it. So lube this part here. This bit of WD-40 is perfectly fine, or any penetrating oil for that matter. Lube the um, screws. Lube that. Again with this one, just a bit of lube. So here's the ball joint tool in action. I haven't got any footage of the other tool, so I didn't have a tie rod to do. But this ball joint here, I'm just using my email spanner to work it out. You can also use a ratcheting spanner, it does make it a bit quicker. But yeah, all you have to do is just work the um, 90 mil fastener around and as you do so, it puts pressure on the end of the um, ball joint tool and that will pop it out to a nice satisfying pop. The old ball joint off the um, C-Max that I did in the last video that went out prior to this one. And you can see that the ball joint here is pretty worn out. It's all floppy, it shouldn't be this easy to move. The way these work is they fit on over the rubber. And then you get this, like so. Obviously you tighten it down a bit. And that goes in there like that. And then you tighten this 90mm fastener up. And that would put pressure on it and pop this taper out. And once the taper pops out, as you heard in the little um, clip I had, you hear a nice satisfying pop. So this one I haven't got a tie rod to show you, but that's what I mainly use these for. Again, all you do is just pop this end of the rubber. Again, it makes you lube up this part. And yeah, you just tighten it down. Let me move my hands so you can see the light. That's better. You just tighten it down like that and... You put enough pressure on to pop the board, uh, the tie rod out. Really useful. Tie rods can be really tough, tough and hard to get out. Yeah, both these tools are quite handy for that. Getting off the ball joint, tie rods, other suspension parts as well. So yeah, my final thought on this set. It's a really handy little set to have if you're doing any sort of like suspension work, like if you need to remove a drive shaft, you're always going to pop the ball joint out. Need to change the tie rod end, need to change the ball joint like I did in the last video. Really handy. I know you can use hammers and wail away, wail away at the um, steering knuckle and stuff, but this makes it so much easier. I mean, like I said, I've used it on multiple cars. You know, really handy little tool. This one, not so much, I haven't used it as much, but this particular ball joint one is really coming in handy. If you enjoyed this video, why not drop a like? Any questions or feedback, let me know in the comments. I normally drop two videos a week. So if you haven't subbed to the channel yet, you should, and then you'll never miss another video. Do you know anyone else who would enjoy watching this video? Then feel free to share it with them. Thanks for watching until the end. Have a sensational day.